in 46, uh, it raises the point that many people have been saying to me, we've been drinking milk for ages and ages, and we've surely adapted to that. And I think I read in 46 is the answer to that is yes and no. <laughs> uh, well, from 46 on, the answer to that is yes and no. Yeah. Um, what has to be, th- there is a very unfortunate uh, intellectual temptation that afflicts evolutionary biologists, especially in the United States where environmentalism reigned supreme in the 20th century. And that unfortunate temptation is to say, oh yeah, evolution stopped in humans you know, certainly by the time we got agricultural civilization, and we don't even need to think about evolution by natural selection anymore when mm. we're thinking about humans. Mm. It's all over, mm. which is complete rubbish. Mm. Natural selection never stops. It just changes its focus. And with the advent of extensive cultivation of cereals and the widespread use of the milk of other mammals as a dietary supplement, we entered a very different environment, yeah. nutritionally speaking, and also in terms of our activity pattern. Yes. A different environment than we'd had for the preceding million years. So we got a novel environment, in some cases 10, perhaps 20,000 years ago, in other cases perhaps only a few hundred years ago. And the result of going into a brand new type of environment in which things are very different is you get new types of natural selection. And there's no question that this was a turning point for human evolution. One of the things I try to point out in 46, it's not the first such turning point. Mm. There were at least two more major turning points in our story uh, since we were basically chimpanzee-like seven to eight million years ago. Uh, And the first turning point happened somewhere between two and four million years ago when we began to cook and dig and clean our foods. Uh, Another turning point on the order of a million years ago when we started to really become proficient hunters. Mm. And now this very recent turning point. And an important aspect of this turning point is it's basically evolutionarily very new. And not like what we have done did a million years ago. What happened to us a million years ago, we're probably largely adapted to. Yes. We are now pretty good at uh, cooking and eating and digesting meat. Yeah. Chimpanzees and gorillas, if you feed them a diet of meat, they would get very sick. Yeah. It would be the reverse of your cat story. Right, right. You yeah. can't feed chimpanzee steak every day. Not a good idea. Mm. You can feed a human being steak every day. They've done this clinically. Mm. Mm. We have no problem dealing with that. Yeah. That's thanks to a million.